Hello everyone, I'm Lori Baracco and thank you so much for tuning in each and every week for my weekly predictions. And I am using the Tarot of the Owls by Pamela Chen this month. And um, it's the same deck I'm using for my cards of the day and my weekly predictions. So let's see what this week has in store for us. First, I'm going to select a card from the front of the deck, the middle of the deck, and then the back of the deck as well. All right, so here we go. So the first card we have is the Knight of Swords. Then we have the Ten of Swords reversed. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So um, right off the bat, I'm hearing to choose your battles. You don't have to um, accept every invitation to the triggers or every um, trigger, the triggers, every nudge, the pinch, the, the elbow to every fight confrontation that you're invited to. Again, so here is that knight of swords so he's ready to go and defend his honor he's ready to tell them what is up what the truth is and we're we're ex over explaining where you're coming from and then i had that ten of swords reverse so what this tells me though is that maybe things aren't really that bad and you're possibly blowing things out of proportion and then that last one was the Knight of Cups, right? So what we all really do desire and seek is to be happy, to be content, to be able to thrive and to jump in and embrace all of the aspects of life, like our passions. Yet these little distractions, take, they, they are what? Thieves of joy. They take away our joy or we allow them to take away our happiness or enjoying the moment, the present moment. Because oftentimes things really aren't as bad as our negative ego wants to make them. So we blow them out of proportion. So Spirit's saying just hold on, take a moment. You don't have to be so extra and just sit with it. Maybe that's not what they really meant, right? Maybe whatever someone's sharing or communicating or how whatever their perception is 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 not what you're perceiving and maybe our perceptions off maybe we are making things into something when it really doesn't need to be something or to be a thing all right so no one can steal your joy nobody can be a thief of joy and happiness and peace unless we give them permission to do so yes i know there are situations that pop up that you know are kind of hard to avoid but let's just kind of pull it back a little bit and not give away our power thank you so much for tuning in each and every week i'm Lori baracco take care of yourselves and don't let anybody take away your joy namaste